Tell them about it. No, absolutely. Tell I just got the lore today. You know, yeah. Solo having an incredible run so far. You've been seeing it all throughout the quad stream, the blast zone, of course, and the, the, the single stream. Making a great appearance with Hero Reverend as a kind of like a low mid tier kind of character. You know, could I play him? And <laughs> and it, it, it's incredible that we're in top four territory, of course, Mr. E. Our top six, I'm sorry, Mr. E, repping the Lucina Ooh. as always and making quick work of that hero. Yeah, I think if anyone had any questions on why hero maybe is considered uh, less than optimal, I think they got a really nice 30 second clip show. Kind of exactly why. And he is trying to add to it right now, Mr. E, more and more damage, all this offense holding down center stage. Absolutely. You're only seeing that more and more as hero, you know, the inferior frame is, our frames are, are not going to be contesting with Lucina's faster reflexes, her faster arrows, her faster everything, really. All hero has here is a nice amount of range for that horizontal uh, space that he can take up. But with Mr. E at the helm, does he care? No, not really. Waiting off the zoom, missing the grab, Ooh. and getting the down smash. Beautiful stuff. Fantastic coverage, and it's been so tough. Solo stuck at the ledge. Even the zoom cannot get Solo to a safe spot. And right back to the blast. So Mr. E with a solid lead in game one here. Even Celerado active, not going to be enough to kind of deter Mr. E into rushing in, mm -hmm. getting that nice jab, one, two, three, gone and dusted. Now we're off stage, kind of, you know, we did see Sola pull out menu, likely going for a something like Kaboom or anything like that to really cover a lot of that space. Mr. E smart Ooh. though, picks up the recovery option and coming back to stage relatively scot-free, but there's nice. a grab, nice start for a forward throw. Yeah, speaking of those mix-ups, Sola picking a lot of great options right now, trying to mount the comeback, and this is a great way to do it with some footing in the center stage, but E trying to find an opening, right back to the ledge, good stuff from Sola. Some time to read the menu, Hope, finding a really solid combo. Whew, not gonna hit with that up tilt though. Near that F tilt either. Gonna be struggling to even take out this first stock off of Mr. E, whereas on the other side, Sola at the nice percentage on their last stock. There's a Nair coming in. Bounce not gonna be really able to do anything against a projectile-less character like Lucina. Beautiful pair Ooh. on the jab into the down tilt, allowing the Zapo to come out as well. Now we are not coming back from that. But oh. You're high, so it's okay. The high percentage was okay. Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, I just believe in Mr. E to come back. I was still like, hold on. Maybe there's a shot. Falling short, but still very comfortable. Fresh second stock here. And 108 is tough. Hero can definitely make something happen. But Mr. E is just so consistent right now. And with mm. you know a very consistent kid like Lucina, arguably right. more so than her Echo counterpart, Marth, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of can Mr. E himself stay consistent? And you're kind of saying that, yes, he can stay consistent because a kid like Hero who is one of the most inconsistent characters in the game right. by design. <laughs> right. Okay, we got another zoom coming in just in time, but still kind of just puts himself right back in the corner. Okay, solid menu right there, but good dodge on side special and the preemptive up special to recover. Up throw probably won't do it for a while, so just going to get that pummel damage in. Now we're waiting for opportunity back on stage. You have to be really careful with wow. this and the Kafriz clipping the feet getting Mr. E in a very uncomfortable situation. Now you're the one off stage. Beautiful little short hop air dodge. Back to ledge in order to kind of fake out the recovery option from uh, Mr. E. So look, not able to really respond as fast as you know really you really want to. Right, and there is the up throw finally doing it close to 200. And Mr. E still, all things considered, a solid showing in game one. But Sola was bringing it back. And we saw some really nice combos, nice advantage states start to build. So I think we got ourselves a set. Absolutely, and like, like like you said, this is a perfect you know opportunity or this perfect set to show us, hey, we have someone who uh, lore wise was tri state, moved to Florida as you should as you do when you're in high school, and you're right, in right. your the mercy of your parents, you know, me too, that uh, happened to me, and you're coming back one and regional off of you know in uh, Philly came over here trying to do the same thing here. You're getting you're in top four against pretty much like a like a sub regional kind of level of PR players right, out right. and. You're making a nice showing with such a low tier character, but Mr. E, again, the consistency is phenomenal here. Mm. Now the suits of PS2, very, very interesting for a character like Hero. Oh, okay, I like that. Sort of bait, bringing up the menu and then going for an offensive option. Big switch up though, I love the patience on that grab too. Mr. E still playing so very smooth right now. And putting the pressure on too. Now, without overextending, just mm -hmm. solid hits here and there. Finally fighting back. Those hits from Hero though are kind of meaty. The percent adds up a little, a little quicker than Lucina. Oh, absolutely. He kind of needs it, you know. At least Lucina has a frame data to kind of deal with most of what Hero wants to do, but Hero kind of needs... Oh, oh no. We made a little itty-bitty mistake there. Boom! You are dead. Man. It's so meaty. I know. It just feels so, so rough. It's, the crowd definitely didn't enjoy... Well, half the crowd didn't enjoy that one either, but... 
Really solid hit, and what a response. Some offensive mix-ups that we've seen from Mr. E. As I said, he you know doesn't go for too much. Still finds those big shocking hits when possible. Yeah, I think the one of Mr. E's biggest, you know, oh. great factors. All the reverse Kafriz, nice little catch on the on the you know, recovery from the from the air. Mm -hmm. But regardless, Mr. E is really good, just kind of breaking down his opponent, seeing what's your flaw, what's your character's flaw, what's you as a player, what's your flaw, right, and right. just abusing it. And here you can do the same thing with Hero, where without Zoom, you can so get get him off ledge for such a long amount of time. Same thing in the air with juggle situations. Oh, okay. Couple of few too many grabs, all whiffing. Sol and I will find the opening until that down tilt. A nice extension with the platforms. This oomph can be a very big deal, especially if we get one more big hit from Sola. Definitely looking for it, but that grab just falling a little bit short. Ooh, yeah. okay. Nice preemptive up special. Smart. Oh, Ooh. I saw the vision. Mm -hmm. I saw the mind of a classic coming out right there. <laughs> but no, Mr. E, right on top of it, as always, when is he truly not, right? Sola has to, you know, find a way to get himself situated on the center stage because PS2 is going to be so good Ooh. for... Not why we're hanging for a little bit too long there. Yeah. But center stage is going to be so good just to really emphasize that horizontal space you can take up with uh, the spells. Right, right. And we definitely saw that in, in Game 1 on Final Destination. When Sola had the time to sort of read the menu, get these things prepared, yep. it was a very different game. We're kind of seeing it right now, too. Up till catching the jump in in a very even game compared to game one. Trying to even it up here. This could be some big damage as well. Ooh, looking for the roll in. A little slow. A little bit slow there, absolutely. There's a grab, but... Oh, you oh, tried no. being sneaky! <laughs> I saw the vision, but the invincibility of the uh, of the up special is going to be taking Mr. E away from that scary situation with the down air. Well, all right, again, Mr. E at the ledge. Back to the wall right now. These hits are coming in the flak, even almost threatening the game. Jeez, Accelerado doing a lot of work right there. Making it back to center stage. Big up tilt and good offense as well. Oh, no! Kafriz is the wrong way. Huge jab. Man, I definitely was looking for the Beaver vs. Kafriz, the same thing we saw as a repeat of game one, but no, not gonna be enough in order to secure this stock. You're at 92% as Mr. E. Sola has so much rage to build up and so much opportunity to just build up alive this, uh, this range game plan, but Mr. E not allowing them to right. do so. It's so very tense right now. The mana was a problem that up tilt kind of evened it back up. Gonna have to spend a little bit to zoom here. Ooh, okay. I like that option, kind of retreating away. And what a swing! But Mr. E finds it. The forward smash just missing. And Mr. E quick to capitalize and take that set. For a split, split, split second, mm -hmm. before my brain really rendered what I was looking at, I thought like forward, the smash. forward yeah. smash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> I love my character. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I was right there with you. I was like, huh? And then I like, Right Took here. In. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that right, the back hit that swing. Right. I thought that hit. No, it didn't. <laughs> Thankfully, yes. Thankfully, it was. I, I, like, it took me a second, and then I was like, wait, no, okay, Lucina got no, it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I had to see, like, the. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're good, we're good. <laughs> but I was sweating. And Mr. E, probably a little, you know, sweating a little bit himself. Gonna move on, though, into the bracket against someone who has been on a tear tonight. Would you like to speak on Zap? Stepping oh my up God, to the stream Zap. setup. Um, if no, not, the, I got plenty to say. No, <laughs> please, I, I got most of the lore today, but yeah. as someone who's probably known Zap much longer than I have, you know, my, my 30 minutes, no. please. <laughs> I'm only at like 45, too. And okay. 